Lesson 73, Carrying when multiplying two big numbers. In the last lesson, we learned how to multiply two three-digit numbers, but we didn't do any carrying on any of our examples. Here's a problem with three-digit numbers where we actually need to carry. Let's go through this. 247 times 138. The first step is to put the numbers over each other. We put the bigger number on top and the smaller number on bottom and line up the columns. Now remember the way to multiply these is just to multiply each of the digits in 138 by each of the digits in 247. We'll start with the ones column, which is eight times seven. You go ahead and do it, but you'll need to carry on this. Excellent. Next is eight times four. And you're also gonna to have to carry on this and don't forget to add the five on top. Good job. Now we need to multiply eight times two and then add the three that we carry. Go ahead. Awesome. Next, we need to multiply the three on bottom by each of the digits on top. And as always, we're going to start a second row. And then we need to put a zero in the first place. Why don't you go ahead and type that zero in? Yes. Now we multiply the three and the seven. But first, we really should mark out the five that we carried earlier. We don't want to get confused. Now you take over. What's three times seven? Perfect. Next, we have to multiply three times four and then add the two that we carried. Go ahead and do that. That's right. Now we need to multiply three and two and we'll mark out the three that was carried from before. What's three times two plus the one that we carry? You got it. Now it's time for our third row. And we need to start out the third row on the right with two zeros. We need a zero in the first two places. And now we're gonna multiply one times seven. You go ahead. Good. Now we need to multiply one by four. But first, we better cross out the two on top. Okay, fill in the blank. Good. Next, we'll multiply one times two, but we'll need to mark out the one that was carried from before first. Fill in the correct answer on your own. Good. So that does it as far as multiplying goes. The next step is to add up all three of these rows. And we'll start with the ones column. What's six plus zero plus zero? Good. Now we go to the tens column. Why don't you add that column up? Yes. Next, we add the hundreds column. Notice you're gonna have to carry on this one. Go ahead. Excellent. Next, we add the thousands column. And don't forget the two that we carried. Perfect. In the last column, we just need to add a one and a two. Go ahead and finish that off. Good. So our final answer is 34,086. And notice that the only real difference between this example and the other three digit by three digit multiplication problems that we've been doing is this one's a little messier because of the carrying.